That's, that's why I didn't want to touch on the topic when I seen it on social media because I didn't really listen to the song. So I didn't feel like it was a need for me to jump into the conversation when I haven't even listened to the song to actually give an unbiased review of it. <laughs> y'all so what's good it's cam dion back in the building and you know this song has been making a little noise and um you know i had to come and see what it's all so, about so kendrick lamar released his new album uh last week yeah last week um i still hadn't got a chance to fully listen to it yet i have a couple albums on my list that i still have not listened to fully yet but um yeah so i've been seeing the controversy I was in a conversation about this song and it's called Auntie Diaries. Um, and I haven't listened to it yet, like I said, so that's what we're gonna do today. So that's why you're here watching me today. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get right into So what I can already get from this is that he's telling his story about his auntie, which is a transgender male now. Um, I didn't really get the full, that's, that's why I didn't want to touch on the topic when I seen it on social media, because I didn't really listen to the song. So I didn't feel like it was a need for me to jump into the conversation when I haven't even listened to the song to actually give an unbiased review of it. So yeah, let's just keep going. Okay, so, um, basically, that's what I, okay, so, that, him saying the F word, um, that's what I seen the conversation about. I seen people was basically, they were not feeling, was not feeling that, but, um, I'm gonna keep listening and, yeah. I like the beat. I like the beat. I'm not even gonna lie. I like the beat. The beat is hot. The beat is hot. Why? 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 The beat is hot. What? The beat is hot. What? The beat is hot. Okay. Um. So. This is how I feel about it. Um. I like I said, this is this is why I didn't jump into the conversation on Twitter because the conversation that I was in from Twitter was basically looking like he was using it in a de derogatory way. Um, me personally, I don't see it that way. I understand why a lot of gays and a lot of trans may be triggered um, by that word um or by him misgendering and the reason why i did the air quotes is because granted my auntie is a man now i get it i get it don't get me wrong i definitely get it but for me i just feel like it's literally him telling his story from his point of view then you know um, and we always talk about people um, allowing people to grow. Um, you know, when they get ready to counsel someone, this, this, and that. Um, 
me first of all i don't believe in cancel culture because there are plenty of people out there that should actually be canceled but y'all still support them um but we ain't even gotta get into that um because they've definitely done worse than say the f word in a song okay um so let's not act brand new here please thank you um but me personally it's just a storyteller like he's a storyteller and he told his story from his perspective when he was in that mindset but listening to the song i don't hear it being i don't see i don't hear him saying oh i hate fags or i hate trans or you know what i'm saying like he's not saying that you know he's just speaking from his perspective and what his mind was see what he was seeing at that age you know like he said, he was younger. Like, if you really listen to the song, me personally, I just like if you just really listen to the song and not just point it out that he was saying faggot, faggot, faggot. If you listened to the song, then I feel like you have a better perspective of it because I don't see it being disrespectful. I honestly don't. Um, I don't. Um, so that's why I was like, I need to, I need to check this out because I was like, I need to see like what's all the roar is about because it's just like I know. Kendrick Lamar is not disrespecting the girls. Like, I just, no, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I actually like the song. I'm not even gonna front. I like the song. The beat is hot. I thought, definitely, I thought it was fun. I like the beat. So. I like the meaning of the song. I like it, you know? Um, but like I said, on the other hand, I do understand why some people pretty much don't like it because I feel like that word, faggot, triggers a lot of people. It used to trigger me. Um, I used to get called that word in middle school, high school. Like, girl, when I hear somebody say that word, they couldn't even be, they weren't even talking to me. If I just heard it, like, I would just literally just, ugh. like, that was me in the inside of my body. Like, that's literally what I would do because it's like, I just hated it. I absolutely hated it. Um, now it doesn't bother me because, I mean, it's, that's, I don't let words define find me you know what i'm saying like it's derogatory terms define me you know what i'm saying like i am what i am like girl you're gonna call me a bag sissy whatever girl i'll be that okay so what <laughs> i'm not gonna change you know what i'm saying so um i understand both sides of the story i definitely do um so i'm not sitting here like picking sides or anything i'm just telling my truth and how i feel so don't come at me don't come at me okay but overall, I definitely like the song. I enjoyed the song. Uh, and with that being said, I'm definitely going to go ahead and get into his album because I actually like the song. So, yeah. Um, but I'm sorry to the ones that feel like y'all are disrespected within the song because I honestly feel like that's not what he was trying to do. Like, that's not even a tone that I got from the song. That's not. So I hate that some of y'all really felt disrespected from that. And I hope that... Um, once, once he catches wind of that, um, because I don't see, he don't, he's not really on social media. So I hope when he catches wind of that, I hope he, you know, kind of acknowledge that and that, you know, and touch on that and let his fans know because he has fans that are LGBT, you know. So I hope that he can touch on that and let them know, like, hey, that wasn't my, that, like, that, that wasn't, that wasn't the intention. You know, I wasn't trying to be disrespectful to anyone, you know. So, but yeah, like I said, I like the song. So, you know, <sighs> here we are. Um, like I said, I'm back. I'm here, you know. Um, I'm, I'm, I think I'm liking the idea of trying to do at least one video a week. Um, and release it every Friday. Um, so I think I'm gonna like that. So, you know, like I said, like I told y'all in my previous video, you know, just, just, just bear with me. Like, I'm just trying to figure out a schedule right now. Um, so just bear with me. Um, I love each and every one of you. Like I said, we're on the road to 400 subscribers now. We've already surpassed 350. So we're on the road to 400. So let's keep it going. Cause we got a long way to go to get the hundred K. So, <laughs> but we'll get there. I know we will. I know I get there. Um, so thank y'all for always supporting me. Um, I love each and every one of you. And if you haven't, check out some of my, uh, recent videos. I have, girl, I gotta check out my discography. Stop playing with me. Mm -hmm. Well, videography. Wait, would it be videography? I don't know, girl. I don't fucking know. But, um, <laughs> check me out. Um, I got a couple story times, you know, I was doing a couple story times, but, you know, I've gotten into my niche now and I see what more of y'all like right now. So, you know, like I said, it's once the audience keep growing, you know, I, I throw in a couple story times here and there, you know, just to, you know, because I don't, don't want to, I'm not the type of person to just like to stick in one box, you know, that's not me. 
but um i'm liking this so far because i love music so why not but um yeah thanks for the support and yeah love you <laughs>